What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cut through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate through the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. Thanks for all the recent donations. If you'd like to book a personal reading, links in the description box below. But uh, you have to text the book, and most of the appointment times are already filled up. And I have a new service if you'd like to check that out, too. Okay, so I received another channel message. Um, I probably will do some more sign readings tonight, but we'll just kind of see how it goes, okay? Um, okay, so this one is interesting. Sorry. <laughs> this one's interesting. Um, well, to me, they're all interesting. But, <laughs> I mean, it's more interesting to me because I'm a registered nurse, too. So how this person didn't get caught earlier blows my mind is why i find it so interesting because you're supposed to go through fingerprinting background checks verification so i'm thinking obviously this person fell through the cracks obviously and you're not supposed to as a professional especially a registered nurse we're we're held to higher standards or we're supposed to just saying just saying okay so i heard a um a Pisces registered nurse, and I did hear of Pisces, so they, masculine or feminine Pisces, they can have Pisces in any aspects of their charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hand or Jupiter charts. They are registered nurse, so RN, registered nurse, not a LPN, not a LVN, not a CRNP, not a CR, the anesthesia, anesthesia one. I know y'all told me about that one the other day, and I did know about that one, but I forgot about that one. That one too, not that. A registered nurse, RN. Um... I heard they they have been a fugitive for many years, I heard, for many years. But through many series of chain events, they are about to be caught. I heard they are currently practicing as a registered nurse out in a city. It is about to mortify the city, mortify the community, and <laughs> it's basically about to embarrass the city and the community they've been hiding out in. And I think it's the same Pisces or the same RN in Pisces reading. I picked up either the last Pisces reading or the reading before. I'm feeling because I heard specifically it's Pisces RN. And I, I did, I picked up an RN that was about to get, uh, that had charges in a different state and they lived in the United States of America and they technically strategically moved. I heard they're very good at this. So they have a criminal mindset. They, they knew they had all these serious charges, two or two plus charges in a particular state. Um, Florida. Florida for one and Alabama for one. Oh, there's two of them. There's two. Okay, so one, Florida. One has charges in Florida and one has four charges in Alabama. So I guess one has fled from Alabama and one has fled from Florida. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, there's two. So I'm Florida and Alabama, so I'm assuming one has charges in Florida and they fled from Florida, and one has charges from Alabama and they fled from Alabama. I don't know. I don't specialize in criminal, you guys. This is crazy. But however that resonates, I didn't get states in the other reading. I heard Florida and Alabama. So I think there's two, and I think one fled from Florida and one fled from Alabama. But you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates... They fled the states. In that other reading, the RN I was picking up fled the states strategically so they would not be caught on the criminal police side, basically, um, the law enforcement side, um, and they could still practice. So they moved, strategically moved states away, um, and they, they, they fell, I'm assuming they fell through the cracks because... In the employment process, you're supposed to do a background check, which brings up, it's supposed to bring up your criminal history, the social, your fingerprints, um, any arrests, any charges, any, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, I mean, just saying. I mean, some places I've applied at and I worked at, they wanted, they did a credit uh, report, like a credit, they pulled credit, of course, with your consent or authorization. And of course, I had no problems. I didn't mind doing it, but I have worked at many places 
as an RN and they wanted to pull my credit report. Of course, I had to sign the consent authorization to do so, but my credit has never been in the shitter. So I never had to worry about that. But my point is they strategically moved states because of these criminal charges. They didn't want to have to pay the piper. Uh, they didn't want to have to pay for their consequences. So they chose to flee basically and become a fugitive and run to a states away. But I heard there are many series of chain events that are about to get caught. Apparently, there's two of them. I thought there was only one, but I think I strongly feel there's two. At least two. Holy crap. Or Florida and Alabama is significant here. You plug it in how it resonates. Damn. All right. I heard the community is about to be mortified. The community is about to be mortified. And Tennessee is significant as well. And Tennessee. Is there three of them? Damn. Florida, Alabama, Tennessee is significant. Florida, Alabama, Tennessee. There's, uh, There might be three nurses doing this shit. Or they visit Tennessee, Alabama, Florida. Or they fled, fled from there. Or they live there. Or whatever, whatever. But Florida, Tennessee, Alabama is significant. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I heard they're currently employed in their current city, um, wherever they're residing. I think it's uh, Tennessee, Florida, or Alabama. Um, I heard they're currently employed. So they are upright citizen, currently employed as a registered nurse. So I'm sure they get lots of respect, honor, recognition as a registered nurse in their current place that they fled from, I mean, the current place they reside, but what people in their community and city don't know is they're really a fugitive for two or two plus crimes in a particular different location. I'm sure they didn't tell the people in their current location that. My name's blah, 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 RN, and I'm a criminal. Like a true criminal, not a setup criminal kind of shit. Number 38 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 38. I heard they were employed, so this is the employment as an RN. For one, a bounty hunter is very heavy onto the onto this person. For one, a private investigator is. Oh, my God. There's at least two. There's at least two. I heard Florida, Alabama, Tennessee. There's at least two of these RNs. For one of, and might be more. Okay. <laughs> Damn, this is good. Okay, so for one of them, a bounty hunter is on their ass. One, uh, so anybody doesn't know a bounty hunter, they get paid to apprehend, basically. From my knowledge, from what I understand of this. Like dog, the bounty hunter kind of shit is what I'm presuming. I'm sure it's not him, but I'm just, somebody like that is what I'm saying. So a bounty hunter is on, one of, for one of them, a bounty hunter is on their ass. Well, they want that money, honey. Just saying. And for one, a private investigator is. So they're le there's at least two. They are, uh, the private investigator, maybe they're getting paid to find this person. Um, bounty hunter, they will get paid to apprehend. So working hard to find that person. Uh. I don't know how the private investigator in works. I'm assuming they'll get paid to apprehend the person. I'm presuming the RNs, they're getting paid, but they had to move many states away and they didn't complete whatever they had to complete in their former state and location. They just fled. They became, they're fugitives in their previous state. Damn. How do, I mean, Obvious, I just want to say from a nursing standpoint, whoever the hell hired these people in, they did not do proper background checks. They most certainly did not, and it is about to embarrass the hell out of this company that has employed them. It is a hospital. Oh, my God. Oh, that's confirmation. I heard they most certainly did not. It's about to embarrass the hell out of the company that hired them and it is a hospital so for both of these people they're employed at hospitals so corporate conglomerate hospital type situations you can work at a hospital but it's a corporate conglomerate through a company um just let y'all know i've worked at two of them um yeah 
The, I heard the company's about to be embarrassed as hell. The corporate conglomerate company of the hospital that has hired these people. They're a the bounty hunter or the private uh, detectives on their ass, man. Like, why don't rice? Apparently. Um, and they're just working, 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 being an upright member of their community. But all the while, they've got all these charges and they're a damn fugitive from another state, probably Florida, Tennessee, or Alabama. I mean, damn. I'm just saying, but I'm just going to wake up the company. The company's going to be embarrassed. The community's about to be embarrassed. I wonder if these people, if the private eye or the bounty hunter is going to apprehend them at their workspace. I didn't hear that. Um, I wonder if you guys watch my channel, uh, the bounty hunter or the private eye. I don't know. I don't know if you do or don't, but damn. Let's put one more. Oh, my God. Spirit message this shit. Child reverse number 18 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 18. Child reverse. One of these people does not have any children. One they do, and they're very neglectful parent. Very neglectful. It's about to embarrass the hell out of some grandparents. In a huge way. Both of these people are about to be apprehended and arrested. Through many series of chain events, grandparents that never thought they were going to have to raise kids, minor children, are about to have to. Oh, my God Almighty. This is terrible. This is terrible. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so both of them are about to be arrested soon. They're about to be arrested uh, through many series of chain events, whether the bounty hunter comes and gets them or the private eye or what have you, what have you. They're about to be arrested through many series of chain events. We've got a bounty hunter in here and a private eye in here. Um, one of them has kids. And one does not. And I heard kids, so I think two or two plus kids. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. In some of these situations, it might be one, but I'm feeling two or two plus kids. But however that resonates, um, the one with kids, I heard um, they're about to be arrested. And I heard the grandparents are about to be um, mortified. They're about to be embarrassed. So despair energy that this um, RN fake fugitive RN basically is about to be arrested and um I heard through many series of chain bits they're about to end up raising kid uh minor kids they never thought they would so I'm thinking two or two plus kids in some of the situations it might be one but it's because this person is about to be arrested and probably will not be able to get out of jail I'm assuming no bail I'm assuming they will not be able to bond out is what I'm presuming um or they get out, they bond out, and then they have to go back for court, and then they end up being jailed or carted off, you know, go to trial or however that works. Um, I don't specialize in criminal, um, but yikes. And I heard someone else in here is getting a huge wake-up call. Oh, this is what I was looking for. I was looking for jail card. I'm sorry. Yeah, wow, this is freaking a crazy, man. And I'm just being for real, for real. But they should have taken care of their criminal charge or charges before they decided to flee the state, whatever state it was, whether it's Alabama, Tennessee, or Florida, and become a fugitive. And I'm just being for real. Grandparents are going to be in despair. Heard they're about to be so mortified. Uh, one of, they're both going to jail soon. Now, whether they get to bond out, bail out, I'm not sure. But it sounds like down the line through many series of chain events, of course, they're going to have to go to court and all that after that. But I don't know how the hell they will be able to get out of this. And I'm just being for real. I don't know how the hell. Uh, it doesn't sound like they're going to be able to. Meaning, the grandparents that never thought they would have to, grandparent or grandparents, that never thought they would have to raise minors, is about to end up. And these grand, grandparent and grandparents are in bad health. Oh, my God. And heard the grandparent or grandparents are in bad health. 
this, you know, I hear situations like this and I see stories all the time and then I wonder why the hell my kids got taken away. I'm a very capable person, man. Very capable. Why the hell my kids taken away? Just saying, just saying, if anybody needs to hear that. We've got stories like this all the damn time in the news, in tarot card readings, all over the damn world and nation. And yet I get my kids taken away. If anybody needs to hear that, and the McClendon standard wasn't met. One of these RNs is a feminine, one is a masculine. One of these RNs is a fem and one is a masculine. And they're both Pisces, it sounds like. Oh, my God. Several shocking series of chain events are going to occur with these situations soon. The feminine Pisces, someone is about to call in and report her soon. Someone she would have never expected. The ma masculine Pisces has been very tight-lipped about his. Nobody knows about his. Oh, my God. Okay, so there's a masculine fem Pisces uh, fugitives from states. Apparently, the fem Pisces has talked about her fugitive. Um, situation apparently she probably may it might have even bragged about it i didn't hear she did but intuitively i feel she might have i mean she was brave enough to speak about it to people out in her community in her world he hasn't spoke about it the masculine pisces he's very smart he already has been very tight-lipped he hasn't said shit about his there's reasons he hasn't i feel he might be the one i was picking up in the last reading because i heard whoever that person is he was very that person was very strategic and very smart as well if you're going to do that shit you, you can't be blabbing about it she blabbed about it he didn't so i think it might have been him i was picking up in that previous reading but however that resonates he hasn't blabbed about it it sounds like he's still about to get caught she has and somebody connected to her that apparently she's blabbed to about this shit i guess bragging that she can get away with being a fucking criminal i guess that's never, that's not cool kid shit. If anybody needs to hear that, it's just not. But um, she apparently has lied to at least one person. Um, she sounds like a chatty Kathy, is what she sounds like. But one of these people, whether she's lied to one or a hundred people, one of these people is about to call in and report her soon. Um, and it sounds like it might speed up the process for her. It's about to create shocking series of shame events to speed it up for her. It's about to create a shocking series of chain events to speed it up for her. So, if, okay, so you might be the person about to call in and you know she's a fugitive. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. We've got the two RNs, tight lip RN, Pisces male, Blabber Blaberson, Chatty Cathy, criminal, uh, fugitive, them Pisces that's blabbed uh, everybody in their mama or one person or what have you, what have you. And then the person about to call in and report her that knows about this. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. But I heard uh, it, whoever you are that's about to call and report her, it's going to speed it up for her. So just know that. It, it's going to happen anyways, but it's going to speed it up is what it sounds like. She's going to be in despair, and he hasn't said shit, but hell, he's going to get caught too. All right, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day, and namaste.